So we have um, we have a team that's kind of grown over the past few years, which is great, which is wonderful news, which is amazing. And it just, the timing, like it was just so important right now with everything that's going on. We all have different roles. That's interesting. It's hard. Like whenever I talk about what we do, I talk a little bit about what we, we all do different, slightly different things. We all complement each other really, really well. We all, we all work, we're all connected we all, and we all have our unique strengths, you know, so that's really, really interesting. First of all, we had the workflow. We, th this was uh, that three-step workflow, which we knew we had to have something very kind of um, essential, a basic model for getting faculty to finish the winter semester. How are they going to do this? So it was set into motion. I think Rob working with our Vice Provo Innovation Teaching and Learning, Sandra Gabriel and Rob and the teams up there, you know, they were very quick to uh, very rapidly um, kind of conceptualize the workflow and they and we worked with them and we like deployed it. So we had to deploy it by basically, uh, you know, first of all, um, turning it into um, uh, a series of instructional guides and a video and inf information that could be rapidly uh, disseminated and rapidly kind of taken in by faculty that they could really understand and easily communicated. So the library, but then there was all these other technologies. So we've recently, um, you'll, you'll recall that we had done pilots with lecture capture in the past, and now then we had UJO, which is our lecture capture system. So we had faculty and the we had faculty in the library helping us, and the and the the technology support teams in the library helping us respond to those questions. The around lecture capture, around Zoom, around using Zoom, around uh, the technology. Um, how to do things um, we had I mean the questions you can only you know, I mean you, you what you experienced just the 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 breadth and scope of questions was just un, it was incredible and so we had it they had the library team were able to take things on and when there was a problem if there's something was identified as how come that's not working or how can we make that better the library was behind the scenes able to kind of go and investigate so they were like a team of investigators. They were able to go in and figure out why, how to improve a particular workflow with the technology. Um, you know, we were, you know, we, very, very quickly, we all had to become experts in the software platforms. And I mean, I've been working with lecture capture for many, many years, like piloting it, other versions and, and other and zoom. So I, you know, I, you know, we had a, as educational technologists, we had a little bit, we were able to hit the ground running, but there's only so many of us. And even with the technology, there are certain things that we weren't able to, we had to, you had to spend time trying to troubleshoot. Why is that not, what's the best way to do this or, you know, so they were, you know, they were front and center on that. And then of course, trying to deal the library, trying to figure out all of the solutions around readings and course packs and um, all of the, th all of the things around um, uh, with the library being closed, you know, what would be, how would students, you know, how would they get access? How could they continue the semester and so on? So, um, yeah, they were really, and they continue to be a great, great support team for us as well. And IITS are just tremendous. Like the IITS team uh, that we're working with are just like, they, it's been nonstop as well around Moodle trying to, because of, of course, Moodle just became oof, like everyone now, was using well you know virtually I was using Moodle all of a sudden and so the people who had never maybe perhaps tried any of the 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 assets in Moodle the quizzes or this or you know question bank that that became a big deal so um and I think we're still there we're still going to have in the fall I think we're going to have we've come up with a strategy to try to to try to make sure that faculty aren't sort of hanging waiting for responses to questions. So we're, we've, you know, we're developing strategies to make sure we're providing support. I think that's going to be a big challenge. When you talk about the fall, it's the challenge of direct care and direct aftercare it, with such a small number of us because we're just so few. And this is where the library can help for sure in IITS. But when it comes to the pedagogical um, the pedagogical approaches, like we're, we are kind of right front and center in that you know and it's great because the library do their their team members faculty members in the library who have really i mean they have that good pedagogical understanding as well so but really we're the ones that are being you know we're kind of at the front of it i feel like a 
I'm not saying that we're the, the, the only team, but we f- I feel like we're quite, we're very present, I guess is what I'm trying to say in, in all of those conversations. Because I know I've, I've been in the university world for you know, many, many years. I know systems, I know, and I know I can go and find, if I don't have the answer, I can go and find someone and figure it, or I can advocate on behalf of faculty and students to you know, find. Um, but uh, you know, having said that, I think that you know, we, we, um, we also, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see if we can provide support to these communities of practice so that faculty can also be creating their own answers as well, because they just, they're so rich in experience and they're, they've, they've lived it. They've done it. We, you know, we don't walk in their shoes. They, and when they come up with solutions because they've tried, they, they've, you know, they've, they've tested the waters, they've, you know, dipped their toes in and then they went and did something. And another faculty member has the similar context, but they, they haven't seen the solution. Another faculty member says, well, this is what I did. That to me is, that's what I love the best is when those solutions are shared. And so I think if we moving forward, if, you know, what could make things even better is like those communities of practice, having maybe a team of people, which is what we'll be doing is really, um, uh, cultivating them, supporting them and cultivating, making sure that they're there and they're growing and information's coming in. Our, I think the lessons learned was that they like the use of time, staying ahead. Because I think we were lucky because we have such a phenomenal team. I, honestly, the CTL team is just, they're remarkable. They're remarkable people. I mean, I feel privileged to work with this. They're, they're just superb team so well informed so professional and so good at what they do that we were i felt that we were ahead of things because they it was all thought through it was like we know this we we know we're ready like they were we totally were ready for it and then everything that came out after that it just was borne out that that readiness that knowledge just came out and it was all delivered um i think the lessons learned are is the is the sense of readiness to be there is being prepared and being working, having a group of professionals who really can see uh, even without knowing that COVID could happen, but being ahead of it and saying, you know, that knowing where to go, being able to see the road ahead. That's the lesson. I think the lesson learned, and we were able to see, I think we were mostly able to see the road ahead. Um, we we're very lucky in Rob because Rob, um, He's, you know, he's a, he's a really great manager. He really, really, I mean, he's very calm and cool and very, he's got a good vision. And Sandra, like the two of them, I think work really well together from what I've seen. They have good, they're really good visionaries. So I think if you have people who lessons learned, if you can think and be, think ahead, you know, and that's what we're doing for the fall. We're trying to be proactive. It's the lessons learned are to be proactive. Don't wait for the things to happen. I always think in my head, like I I say to Robin, like I I tend to play games of chess in my head. What are the, I I try and look at, you know, I do risks assessments and I do, and I think what could go, what could happen, what could go. And you think of all those, and I think that's how we think. We think of all the different things that could happen and have the contingencies for each of those conditions that could happen. And so you're prepared. And I think for the fall, um, you know, I think we we're, we're, that's what we're doing now. We're getting ready for the fall with these communities of practice. And it's going to be a challenge because again, we're, we're limited in our team, our numbers to, it's always the human resource, the human us, the team behind the scenes that can, that has the time. And, and we've not stopped. Like we've, it's been full on, you know, there's been no lag. There's been no, what I found fascinating in our model, because we're so limited, that we're all over the, we, we go everywhere. So we're John Molson, we're Fine Arts, we're, you know, Dahlia will, will, will call, because Dahlia is working with Fine Arts right now. So she'll, we'll be in touch with her to find out how she's doing. And then she'll be in touch with us to say, you've had this before, how, how did you do it? You know, and so on. So I don't know. I think that we have to, it has to be very, if you do that, it has to be very porous in the sense that you could pick up another team member and move them into that area. Um, because, uh, we're, when you have smaller numbers of people, you just have to be very nimble and very flexible. So flexibility is, uh,
I like connecting with people and I like making connections. I really enjoy it. I really see logical. I see things and I say, this person here could really help this person here. It's what I spent my time at Concordia is connecting people and finding solutions. This is what I love doing. And it's what I, and I get to know people and our team is doing that now. Like all of our team, we're starting, they're starting to learn, you know, um, you get to know the community within departments really well. And it's building the human relationships. That's a really important thing that I, that I've, I've, I've cultivated over the years and our team members are cultivating now. They're getting to know their, the people they work with in departments. And that's faculty, but that's also student groups and that's also the staff groups. The staff are so essential, um, the supporting staff members in fine arts. I'm thinking of all the people in fine arts in IITS. Um, so I think promoting and cultivating more opportunities for social connections within departments. And I'm not saying you contrive it. Don't just, you know, but I do think you, there has to be more, and, and we're being called into more departmental meetings now. That's an example of the fact that does, there's a social connection being made because I think departments are trusting, okay, the CTL have helped lead uh, solutions away. We can invite them into our department to talk to us. You know, like I think there's some trust there. So I feel we've had very positive influence historically um, but not necessarily, we do it a little bit as a hidden team, you know, um, not that we're not recognized, but I think now with COVID, it's a whole other, the center for teaching and learning has been, um, uh, directly implicated in numerous, uh, di- you know, information flows from the provost and the president. And I think it's, they're recognizing that a lot of the, everything's coming through, a lot of things are being directed through the CTL. I think it'll uh, persist, not to the extent that we are, we can provoke, like they won't necessarily, everything's not an emergency situation, but it'll be more about interest in trying something different. And because our team is so good at cultivating relationships now over the last, you know, three, four months or that those relationships will persist relationships take a long time to build and cultivate because you get to know people you're going to you know and then you have to you want to be able to say to people you know yeah we can do it and we can provide you a good you know a solution that you think is fit like we can give satisfactory answers we can it's meaningful it's um perhaps it's not always we don't we don't get hit all the right buttons for you know like for fact matter it's like that's not quite what i need it's not but we always try to go back and figure out, well, what can we do? You know, like, cause we don't have the knowledge, but what can we do? So I think the relationships are now set and I think the team will continue to, to develop those relationships and grow them, you know, like, and that's what that's, it's all going to be about. It's going to be about faculty needs support and we're there because we've got a relationship and they can call 